Morning. Hey. Morning. Uh, so, I saw that you had a YouTube channel, so I yeah, decided I to check it out. I do. To see what you had to say. And you oppose birth control because you believe it's dangerous? I oppose it because it leads to the, the death of children. And, and because it goes, it doesn't treat, it treats, birth control treats children as a burden, as a curse, not a blessing. As God talks about, as the law of God talks about, God's word. Not everyone is able to have a child at the time that they get pregnant. Oh well, yeah, um, what, what do you mean have a child? You mean they can't take care of their child? Yeah. Well, they, they should be ready to take care of their child if they have sex. Because sex can result in, in, in children. I mean, that's, obviously that's common sense. So when people have sex, they need to be ready for a child to be produced, to be conceived. If they're not, they shouldn't be having sex. How come men don't have to face the same? They should. They should. Men should be men should be more responsible because they they're, they're the protectors of women. So men should should be responsible, and they're not. So I mean, it's not it's not just it's not just it's not just women. It's mother. It's it's men too. And men in this culture, they're honestly they're cowards. They're little boys. They need to grow up, and they need to love. They need to not just. They, um, they need to not just use women, treat them as sex objects. They need to marry one woman and have children. I that's why that's why God that. created it. However, do you know that birth control has many more effects? Oh no! It causes it can cause breast cancer. It can cause other forms of cancer. It can it is damaging women's bodies in ways that we're not even aware of. I, I mean, I've, I've looked at studies of that where it's hurting women and it um because it's not natural. It's not natural. To an article on healthline.com by Deborah Rose Wilson. Birth control can help reduce acne, provide menstrual relief. Uh, I'm aware. I'm aware. I've heard some benefits it can cause. It gives cancer protection and bone marrow. So uh, I mean, really I've, I've heard of some things like that, but does that justify if, if a child is going to die through it? It doesn't. Does, does that justify? Children. It just makes the eggs no, it does. temporarily unable to be fertilized. Well, the birth control, I'm not saying all birth control, but, but birth control, it, it can result in the death of children. It, it, can, it, can, it can prevent the implant, implantation of the newly conceived child in the mother's uterus. It can prevent the child from implanting to the uterine wall. And the child can starve to death because the child is not able to live where God intended him or her to live. In the four articles I read, none of them had anything to mention of that, and none well, of them then were they're sponsored biased. by... Then they're, not, they're not telling the truth then, because birth control does lead to the death of children. Now, I'm not saying always. I'm saying it can. And if something can lead to the death of people, should we do it? Just like... Let me, let me put this example. Driving can lead to the death of people. Does that mean we should well, drive? Well, that's not a really a good, a good example, because it that's, yeah. that's not like... Well, let me give an example that's more parallel to birth control. But let's say a demolition crew, they're going to blow up a building. They don't know if someone's inside the building. There might be one, there may be 50 people inside the building. They don't know. But they're going to blow it up anyway. Should they do that? There might be people in there, even one person. Should they blow up the building anyway, without even bothering to look? In any case, are you aware that yeah, 93% please, 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 please of fertilized answer the question. eggs... So just, just answer the question. Should they blow up the building anyway without, without knowing? No. So it's the same, same applies to birth control. If a person's going to die, don't use it. If it's a possibility, just like the building, just like the demolition crew, don't use it. And if we do use it, then we're then we're just we're saying that there cer certain lives don't matter. The lives of little children who are younger, smaller than us, don't matter. That's what that's why this continues. Are you aware that ninety three percent of fertilized eggs are uh, gotten rid of during the female period? I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a lot. I mean I don't know the statistics on that. I'm so does that mean that every time a woman has a period, that means she's murdering children? No. Because they're no. fertilized eggs that don't have a well, chance that, to grow. Well, I mean, there are such things as that. There are such things as miscarriage. That's that's God's um, that that's um, God's doing. That's not man's doing. What uh, meaning that with when it comes to abortion and birth control, that's um, that's man's playing God, saying that I'm going to do this on my I'm going to. I'm going to decide whether I want to have children or not, or I'm going to murder this child. With miscarriage, it's, man has no part in that. It's, it's God's causing the death of that child, and he has the right, because he's the author of all life. you got 30 seconds to get to class, young man.